Hey folks, welcome! One of the greatest things about Flight Simulator is you don't have many boundaries. You fly what you want, when you want, where you want. Here we are, one of my favorite airports. This is major eye candy. It's amazing it's not a payware airport. This is a default scenery in Gibraltar, right at the throat of the Mediterranean. I believe Gibraltar is an English-managed uh, province or territory or... Uh, subsidiary or whatever you might call it and this Italian fighter made by a company called India Foxtrot Echo or I'm probably mutilating that the Armachi ME339 this uh, built in the 70s maybe not the latest and greatest technology but I have quickly fallen in love with this airplane so let's push the ready to fly button give us control of some of these exterior views we'll do a quick little walk around not ideally parked. I'd prefer to be out on a ramp alone. And we're live weather, live time, live. Oh my goodness! What a sh I gotta get a picture shot of that. That is the Rock of Gibraltar. That's ready for a uh, Prudential Insurance commercial, I think. <laughs> but uh, Gibraltar Airport, the Rock of Gibraltar, has always been a landmark to seafaring peoples entering and leaving the, the Mediterranean. So here we are in our Italian fighter. Quick little route today. We're going to do a touching, a stop and go on a aircraft carrier just off the coast. If you look down below us, oh my goodness, we don't have a tail hook. How are we going to land on an aircraft carrier? Well, by using a program called Kinetic Assistant, I'm going to pretend we have a tail hook uh, land on the carrier just like I did. Another India Foxtrot Echo product is the Boeing uh, T-40. Is it a T-45? Gossack, which is a variation. It's a ripoff of the BAE Hawker, uh, Boeing, uh, British Airspace Hawker. But the uh, McDonnell Douglas version is called the Gossack, and then when Boeing acquired McDonnell Douglas, it became a Boeing aircraft. Uh, that model, truly a carrier-based airplane, uh, just spectacular. And this one by the same company. If you see any aircraft made by this company, uh, Foxtrot Echo India, I'm probably mutilating their name, but three phonic letters, uh, you make sure you buy it because they put out uh, exterior model, can't be beat, and then inside functionality, uh, just spectacular. Not the greatest for navigation. It's uh, old school technology, but in a way that's a lot of the appeal. So here we are. First thing, let's get the bat. Make sure. Well, well for, first of all, we'll do is make sure the landing gear handle is down. Notice the landing gear handle is down. We'll hit the battery on, generator one, generator two. I wish those switches operated independently, but they don't. We'll get a beacon light on. Nav light to bright. Looks like the strobes don't work either. Turn on some of these console lights, the formation lights. Over here, we can hit master arm, uh, JPT limiter on, fuel shutoff to open, all servos to on. We can turn the transponder on, oxygen to on. There's a little magic starter button hidden behind the throttle right there. Hope I hit it. And now we can hit the starter. Starting to get some RPM. Once we get about 10% RPM, we can nudge the throttle a little bit. And it'll kick it beyond. You can see we're starting to get load on our number one generator. We're starting to get load on our number two generator.
going to go to radio nav on the flight director, R nav. Reset the master caution. Let's uh, close this canopy. Reach up, pour her down. Hit the lock mechanism. And now the canopy can become pressurized. We lose our canopy. Uh, turn the anti-skid on. Anti-skid right there. Pretty good. Let's flying VFR today. The carrier is right off the coast. Should be easy to find. We're flying to um, Tangier. Is it Tangier? I think we're flying to Tangier, which is just off the Africa East Coast. Pretty short flight. Air traffic control. Gibraltar ground services. None. Gibraltar ground. Oops. Gibraltar ground. Cessna 4 tree request taxi for takeoff departure to the west. Cessna 4 tree taxi to an hold short of runway 09 or via taxiway Bravo Alpha cross runway 27. Contact tower on 131 decimal 2 and ready. Runway 9. Taxiing hold short runway 09 or using taxiway Bravo Alpha cross runway 27 Cessna 4 tree. There's no ATIS here. Our, our uh, altimeter is set to 1013, which is standard. Let's see if we can pull up an elevation for this airport. Lima X-Ray Golf Bravo, Gibraltar Airport. Destination airport is Tangier. Oh, well, that's the United States. It's not what I want. Okay, let's uh, cancel that. Find this airport I'm going to. This is it right here. Okay, GMME. We'll say. Morocco, GMME. Okay, that's going to be our destination. Oh, oh, no, I take that back. This is the one I wanted. Tangier, Tangier. GMTT, GMTT. Okay, very good. And then there's a carrier out here in the Mediterranean 
that I want to land on. Now, I mentioned you might notice there's no tail hook on this airplane. <laughs> I'm going to use a... Let's go outside. I'll take a look. Uh, there's no tail hook on this airplane, but I'm going to use a program called Kinetic Assist. Kinetic Assist. Assist it will give us a virtual tail hook. And even though we're not really designed for naval operations, we're going to become carrier capable. So we'll land on a carrier just off the coast. So we've announced our taxi. There is no ATIS. Did we get an altitude? I don't remember if we got an altitude for this airport or not. Um, Altitude is 12 feet. Magnetic variation, one degree. Airport type is military. Well, that's appropriate since we're an Italian fighter. Let's make sure our altimeter is set at 12 feet. Does this Colesman window work? Oh, there we go. There's 100 feet. There's 50 feet, there's 25 feet, right there's about 12 feet. So 1015 is our local setting, and we are ready to taxi. Let's clear to the left, clear to the right. We're going to runway 9, which is over here. To the east, we want to head west. Head west, young man. So this is going to require a really tight turn. I'm going to go to the exterior view to make this a little easier. Actually, a turn to the right, a turn to the left might be a little too tight, so I'm going to turn to the right. Do a 270 degree turn. So here we go. Parking brake off. Just a little bit of throttle. Test the test the tow brakes. Tow brakes work. So full right rudder and full differential braking. See if this thing will pivot on a dime. A little bit of lightning in the sky. Meanwhile, the flaps up. Make sure the spoiler is retracted. Look at his fire truck. Watch him where he's going. You want to hit the fire truck. He's driving pretty quick for being on an airport. Get over to runway 9. Our barometer in inches of mercury instead of hectopascals. Okay. Let's take the runway. Check for traffic on final. Check for obstacles on the runway. could actually taxi back for a full uh, full length 
take off. I don't believe we need it. Nice and powerful in this military fighter. So let's just use the runway that we have. Nose wheel steering will change to rudder control automatically. That little steer light will go off. So full throttle. Let's hold the center line. Hold the center line. And we're at VR. Let's go. Positive rate. Gear up. Set the four three continue for west departure. We are heading east. Set the four three leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Let's get cranked around to the west. Specifically to the southwest. Is that our carrier? Oh, it's, it's south. Looks like it could be a container ship. Let's overfly it before we attempt to land on it. Uh, that looks like a container ship. That's not our carrier. Boy, that. That captain would be quite surprised if we... Gibraltar Tower System, 4-tree frequency change. The captain would be quite surprised if we landed on his ship. Well, these low clouds are going to make ship identification a little difficult. What kind of ship do we have here? This could be our carrier. It is. That is our carrier. So let's go to... Kinetic Assist, Assistant, which is this little add-on program here. And I'm going to push uh, Arrestor Connect to the simulator. And now I'm going to push Deploy Tailhook. So now we have a virtual tailhook. When you hang right at the lower edge of these clouds. It's called scud running. Not a really great thing to do for safety's sake. You can imagine a plane on an IFR flight plan popping down below the cloud. He doesn't know you're there. You don't know he's there. Very bad things can happen. There's the container ship. So it didn't, uh, didn't quite go far enough to get behind our carrier. There's the carrier. Landing gear will not deploy above 150 knots, which is that yellow reference on the airspeed tape. amount of shipping out here, which is the way it is in real life, of course, with being the throat of the Gibraltar. Every ship in the mid has to, uh, has to traverse this, and that's why it's military, as a military base, Gibraltar has always been strategically important. Way back in the days of sail, those who control Gibraltar control the mid. Okay, we are we are too close and too high and too fast, so let's get a little further out. Scare the, scare the, scare this captain as we come by his, that's a bulk, that's a bulk cargo ship for grain, 
for uh, our bulk products. I'm originally from Seattle, and you see both types of ships in Seattle. You see the bulk ships that leave the United States with grain and lumber, and then you see the ships that are coming into Seattle are mostly container ships with uh, transistor televisions and <laughs> electronics, and all the iPads. Okay. There's our, is that our carrier? Let's get the speed brakes out. Lead off some speed. Get the flaps down. Might, might lead off some speed this way. And then once we have our gear deployed, there's 150 knots, we'll deploy our gear. Gear down, hook down. We'll pull back on the spoilers. There's our ship. Got to do a much better job about getting on center line. Thrust to idle. Is a nice, nice uh, carrier landing. Taxi up to the catapult. Flaps up. Nice carrier. Really sensitive throttle, sensitive brakes too. Get back, these uh, plates on the deck are called JBDs, or jet blast deflectors. And in a carrier operation, once you've taxied beyond the JBD, the trailing edge of the JBD will rise off the deck, providing a deflection to your jet blast, the safety of ground personnel. Okay, we'll get right up on the track. Let me go outside and help us with that. Put the parking brake on. Now, the kinetic assist, we need to change that to catapult mode. So we will go to catapult. Push ready to launch. Move that out of the way. Throttle to full. Give a salute to the LSO, the landing signals officer. Last check and parking brake off and away we'll go. Whoa, we 
We have flying speed. Gear up. Since we're already in RNAV mode, we can use our heading indicator. You can see our the small numeral 1 at 070 degrees. That's our track for the Tangiers Airport. Actually, that seems to be incorrect. We should be flying southwest, not northeast. Get cranked around southwest. I'm going to fly the reciprocal. a little bit. There's a VOR here. 108.05. That's DME. DME is 108.05. What's the VOR? 115.9. And we'll crank the uh, HSI around. And look at that. Pretty much right on course. Thirty one miles. going to put altitude hold right here. Bring our speed back. Got a bad habit. Whenever, whenever I'm done with Navigraph, I click it out of existence when I really need to remember just to minimize it. There I am.
11 miles. Eight miles. Still don't have the airport. That's a wonderful scenery of the African coast. Airport six miles away. Airports at four miles. Really ought to have it in sight by now. Oh, I have the runway. I have the runway. Okay, let's get our speed. Let's get our speed below 150 so I can get the gear down. 150, gear down. Let's get the flaps in. No kinetic assist this time. So our simulated hook is up. Still a little fast. It's a slippery airplane. Keep the sight picture. On the mains. And our steer, steer light came on, so we do have uh, uh, nose wheel steering. Let's get up to the taxiway so we can get off the runway. off with that low scud, that low cloud cover, and out here on the African coast, it's totally vanished.
still have some bolts of lightning out in the sky. scenery. Today it's one default aircraft airport to another default airport. But it's not my default. I didn't do it. Ha ha ha. That's a GA here. We've got one airliner. I seem to be the only military plane here. A lot of ground handling attendants. Star Alliance. Parking brake on, landing gear down, transponder. Okay. Transponder's over here. Transponder off. JPT off. Oxygen off. Yes, somehow got turned off. I didn't really mean to do that, but it did. Beacon light, nav light off. Generators off. Battery off. Oh, I probably didn't do something over here. Um, fuel off. Servo button off. And we are, uh, let's unlock the canopy, hit the canopy release, and welcome to Tangiers. Thanks for flying with me today. Have a great day.